Hi guys, following on from my Gremlins tutorial and then I did Gizmo the Mogwai, I've had some great feedback from those and um, looking back I've sort of realised there's so many different characters you can do um, and there's lots of different types of Mogwai, lots of different types of Gremlin I can do so I'll be doing those in future tutorials and I've got a spin-off idea I'm going to do at some point so watch this space. Um, one of the most popular suggestions I've had just lately is people asking me to do the little mean um, Mohawk Mogwai so this is today's tutorial, it's a fun one to do. Uh, feel free to pause as you go and remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to start with a line going across and down and then on this side another one similar and then we're going to join these eyes up like that, a line like that and a line like that now just in the middle here you do a little line up down up and down and then we're going to do some small nostrils on this little nose here then we're going to do a line going down and around and down and around and then put a couple of lines underneath and same on that side Then we do another little line over the top and down and over the top and down like that. Now what I'm going to do is do a little dot in the middle of the eye and another one that side and then we're going to do a circle going around the outside just like that. Now we've got that, I'm going to draw a line going down and down. And then a top lip going up, over and down like that. And a couple of little creases on top of his lip. Then we do a line going down, across and up. And then another line following the bottom of that mouth like that. Now this one's got a lot of little sharp teeth, so tiny little sharp teeth going across. And little sharp teeth at the bottom there as well. And a hint of a tongue, so do a wobbly line going across. And then we're going to do that all important mohawk. So we're going to do a line going up like that and up like that. And then a jagged line just following up and over like that. And then you can put a few lines on there while you're there. And then what we're going to do is do a little furry line going around to the side of the mouth and the same on this side then over this side we're going to do a line going around and up all just little jagged lines just to make it look furry and the same on that side we've got to do some little furry white bit under here and under that side and just under the chin like that once you've got that we're going to do some lines going out this side and again on that side and the ears are a bit different to the other mogwai so I'm going to do a very bit first like this and then these ears kind of go 
up to the edge of your paper and then a sort of jagged line going down and then straight across and the same on that side so up jagged line going down and then a straight line across then we're going to do some more furry bits and then follow a line up the ear and up the ear that side and then it's just a case of putting some lines inside the ear and the same on that side so final little touch we can put some little hairy bits in there I mean this fur is going to be quite dark anyway so you'll lose these bits to a degree but it's nice to show some fur there and that gives you his head Now, what I'm going to do is just a few more hairs because he's got a bit of a beard there, I've just realised, so I'm going to put a bit more hair under his chin. And we can fur that up. And then we're going to do that small belly, so let's do the fur going round, sort of in a circle. It'll be a little bit scruffy, it doesn't matter too much. And then it's got a funny sort of shape first, so we do a line going round and round. And then he's kind of got a circular piece of dark fur in the middle here, so this bit's kind of dark, like that. Now once you've got that part, we're going to do a line going round to make these little fingers. Ball going around like that, and same that side one there, and go around again like that. Then do fur going round and up, and round and up, and then join some fur on either arm that side. Now it's just to put some feet in, so I'm going to start with three little toes, so one, two, three, and three on this side, one, two, three, and then some fur going up and round, fur around there, and around to there. And then join those toes, and then put some little toenails on there like that. I'm going to do the same here, a little sort of circle, square, whatever you want to call it, just inside to make those nails. And then we just add a few textury bits. And there we have put a few lines on the bottom just for the ground. And there you have your Mohawk Mugwai.